Christy here. Okay, we've got a, um, a Halley base model set up. And what we're going to do here is, um, we haven't flown the helicopter, we've set it up all mechanically. Um, but what we want to do is we want to disable, and this is, I'm talking about Daemon software or any software really, um, disable, set your gyro to zero so you can set up your actual heli um, gain to, to dial in your gain for your tail on the actual remote itself so that you can um, tune it in and once you've got it tuned then you can actually come in, plug it back into your software once you've got it tuned and then figure out exactly what the value is lock that value in and then disable the switch that you've set up to tune it Okay, so that so it'll zero it out. All right, so um, so basically, what you do is you go into I'm I'm, I'm going to set mine up. I like to set mine up so that it's running off this little trim switch here because uh, you can just click it and it will go a couple of percent at a time if you set it up right. So I'll just show you how to quickly do that. So if you just go to um, click in and then go all the way down to system setup yes you want to turn the um, radio off and then go into channel assign and then leave all these standard as they are and go to next and over here um, in my gyro it's um, set up on um, gear the gear channel channel 5 and I've got it set up for the um, LTRA, which is the left trim A, this one here. Okay. Now, go out of that, once you've got that set. And then get it into trim setup. And just make sure that you've got the L trim has got five points on it. And then trim type is F mode, trim's normal. And then once you've done that, kick out of there and that will set up your gyro to run off this um, so if I go to monitor you can see I've got my this and an important thing to note that when you are using this trim switch here each mode has a different value you have to set the value on the trim switch for the gyro setup so I've got um, currently I've got this set up on the gear channel and it's um, where is it? Um, oh, so what you can do, so this is at 123 in normal mode. Start one. On the oh sorry, 78 on the gear on the gear channel. Start and 78 two. on all three channels. Except for Hold mode's got, it looks like it's a few out, so I'll just tune that down. Okay, so actually on the software, on the Demon software that I'm using, so that's a 78 there, this one here, gear, GER, and then all of the, I'll set them up all the same. Okay, so to bring that up and down, you simply... See if I can zoom out a little bit for you. Yeah. Um, you, you simply um, put it in the mode you want to tune that down, and all, basically you'll be doing it in um, normal mode to start with, and then I, your um, you can set it up for each one, depending on um, how reactive, how sensitive it is. So it's great. Um, once you've got it tuned in, that should be should be the same. So basically, you up and down this tuning here. And see how it's taking my dial up. So that's taking it down to zero. Stunt one. Okay, and then each mode you can do the same thing. So if I change this to 30, put it back into normal, it's gone back up to 78. And now it's at 38, so I need to bring that back up to 78, so that they're all the same. Same with idle 2. Same. So you have to tune this for each mode with the switch, and then once you've actually got it dialed in, you turn everything off, put the, plug this, uh, the um, 
helicopter back into the, the uh, software and then you basically figure out what the setting is because it will tell you once you're plugged in <clears throat> and once you've got that setting then you can go into the gyro tab and then set the actual value that you've set in the radio and then zero this trim back out to zero on each mode and disable it, go in and disable the switch like I showed you earlier on. Alright, so I thought that might be a, a quite a helpful little tip for you. Um, and it gives you good flexibility because it's quite nice and sensitive on this switch. One click does about 2%. two percent. So if it starts, you know, if you give it a couple of clicks and it's put you about 4%, and it starts like the tail starts flapping, um, back it off one until it's pretty it's pretty quick and it's pretty accurate so i hope this helps you out and uh, that's me over and out